Hi, I'm Simon from Sailing Brittigan and I'm here at the beautiful Jordan Lake here in North Carolina. So how do you know when it's time to become a cruiser? I'm going to give you 10 signs that tell you that you need to become a sailing cruiser. Now! Whether you've dreamed about boats your whole life or have recently discovered the idea, here are 10 signs indicating that you need to become a sailing cruiser now. Number one, your life is not exciting enough. You're tired of the same routine every day. Perhaps your life is fine. You have nothing to complain about, but you have nothing to rave about either. There's no excitement, adventure, variety, or spark. When you get down to it, if you're being very honest with yourself, you're slowly decomposing rather than truly living life. Number two, a family-related, guilt-free window has opened. You're at the time in your life when you can head out sailing without neglecting family responsibilities. In other words, your child or children are young and you can bring them with you, or your children have left the nest and you won't be having grandbabies anytime soon. And your parents are either no longer around or are in very good health. Windows like this don't last for long, so it's one of the top 10 signs you need to become a sailing cruiser now. Three, friends and family think you're nuts when you talk about your sailing dream. Many aspiring cruisers fail to live their dream because they listen to friends and family tell them that they're too young, too old, too inexperienced, or too fill in the blank. Any negative response you get from family friends demonstrates their issue and not yours. When you tell Aunt Gertrude that you're heading out to sea to find adventure and freedom, she responds with, you're going to die. Instead of getting deflated, take it as a sign that you need to get out cruising and let Aunt Gertrude choose to slowly decompose. Four, you're done with the media. You've already stopped watching commercials, avoid radio adverts, don't read the newspaper, and avoid the news like the plague. However, you still can't get away from all the negativity, fake news, and doom and gloom. It's unavoidable on land. You crave a sun-warmed breeze on your face, tropical blue waters, and the sound of nature. The sound of cresting waves lapping on the hull, sails luffing and filling with power, and your better half handing you a plate saying, here's some fresh lobster and butter. Before I move on to the fifth sign that it's time you become a sailing cruiser, I want to point out that my husband Simon helps singles, couples, and families to test the waters of the sailing cruising lifestyle. If you're not fully sure that it's time to take the leap, how about joining Simon for a week-long, fully immersive cruising experience in the Caribbean on Britican? Sure, he'll teach you to sail or more about sailing, but the real benefit is getting access to over 10 years worth of knowledge and wisdom about the full lifestyle. For details on our Britican experience, see the link below. Five, you've come to terms that the aging process is real and it's not going to stop. Whether it's another gray hair, a deeper lined wrinkle, or an ache that seems menacing, you've accepted that the aging trend is going to continue. You realize that there is a point when you won't be able to live the sailing dream. So far, you've chosen not to make it happen. That's different than not having the choice to do it at all. This is a major sign that you need to become a sailing cruiser now. Six, your friends have all become boring. Of course, you dearly love all your friends and would do anything for them. They're all great people. Unfortunately, they're all just as boring as you in your current state. You, however, don't want to settle for boredom. You want more. You want to mix with people that excite, challenge, and help you grow. You want to meet people from all sorts of professions with a variety of different backgrounds. On the beach after a beautifully blissful sail from one island to another, you want to crack open a beer, strike up a conversation with one of the many cruisers around you, and get more intoxicated from the conversation than you do from the beer. Number seven, you don't want a hobby, you want something more. You've thought of taking up golf, learning how to woodwork, playing the electric guitar, and have even dabbled in learning to fly, but none of these hobbies feel like they'll be enough. You want something big, something life-changing. A massive sign, that the cruising life is for you is that you want to learn new skills, spend more quality time with your partner or family, meet new people, see new sights, spend more time in nature, live more authentically, eat better, and exercise more. 
You want a life upgrade. Becoming a sailing cruiser is not a hobby. It's not something you do for a few hours a day. It's a new and fulfilling lifestyle. Eight, during your spare mental and physical time, you end up on the water while taking a break and surfing the internet. You often look at boats, read boating blogs, or watch sailing YouTube channels. When out for a drive or even on vacation, you somehow end up near the water looking out at boats. Whenever possible, you get to the water and on the water. You wonder what your life will be like as a cruiser. This is a sign that you've been bitten by the sailing cruising bug. Keep doing this. The more you see, feel, and experience the life, the stronger the pull will be to get yourself out on the water now. Nine, you've worked hard and now it's time to claim your rewards. You went to school, you had a family, got a good job, built a business, climbed a ladder, and provided for your loved ones. You've worked hard and now it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You have the funds and or assets to make it happen. Don't delay, this is another sign that the time is right. 10. You're scared. You want to make the sailing cruising dream a reality, but it's rather overwhelming. You'll have to go from being an expert at whatever your profession was to being a complete novice. You know you're going to fail at certain things. You know it's not going to be easy. You know that you'll have to convince your better half that it's a worthwhile pursuit. Then you have to find the perfect boat. You'll have to learn how to sail in addition to wearing a variety of hats. Weather forecaster, passage planner, plumber, carpenter, electrician, cleaner, linguist, diplomat, chef, fisher person, and homeschooler if you're taking the kids. You're scared. And that's a sign that now is the time to become a sailing cruiser. As Jack Canfield wrote, everything you want is on the other side of fear. So do you want to try before you buy into this lifestyle? Why don't you come out with a week with me on Britikin? I'll show you how to sail. I will show you how to the ins and outs of the sailing cruising life and what it's actually like to be. You can ask me all the questions you want for the seven days or however long you are with us. And that will be, we will do weather routine, we will do plotting, we will do sail configuration, anchoring, mooring, going on to a pontoon and ins and outs of being a sailing cruiser. And it's not just sailing. It's just meeting other sailing cruisers, which are fantastic people. It's meeting the locals, eating the local food, going out and exploring the beautiful islands that we're on. It is just fantastic. And also you're gonna be in beautiful blue water. Let me show you the wonderful life on board a boat. Click the link below. Okay, so that's it for this week. Uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us. And I'll see you soon. Take care, bye bye.